the spiciest memes. I'm Marissa Roberto. And I am Brody Moore. And producer Tyler has two minutes on the board and topics right there at the bottom of your screen. Oh. Now, one of us may get out of line and just need to shut the other one up for about 30 seconds. So we have a trusty mute button to do just that. Uh, yeah, that's real. Of course, we love it when Chad calls us out when we're wrong. So don't be shy. We can take it. Let's start this off with uh, a new story, a fantastic story. We're going to dive into our top story with everyone's least favorite subject. Yeah. Loot boxes. Okay. U.S. Senator Josh Hawley announced yesterday that he would be introducing a bill banning loot boxes and pay-to-win microtransactions in games played by minors. The bill specifically cites Candy Crush as an example of predatory transactions. The Entertainment Software Association released a brief statement stating that they look forward to showing the senator how existing tools and information already allow parents to lock these features. Okay. So, Brody, yes. what do you think of a government body trying to protect kids from predatory loot crates. Oh, you know, I'm, oh, you I'm, know. I'm okay with it to a degree, I suppose. Um, <laughs> I, I, I agree, I, I guess we'll find out. The, the real big issue with the government body is that if they're just going in without a division that is a gaming division, mm. they likely know nothing about gaming and how these things work. Mm. So it sounds like they're gonna try to work through it. They're actually gonna try to be logical about this instead of just saying, ban it, ban it, we don't need information, ban yeah. it. Because they're right, there are tools. And as, as an adult, I do like to buy crates sometimes because for me, I can do that. I have control over my own money and what I do with it. Mm. But I'm an adult and I can make those decisions. But there are games that are accessible uh, to kids and kids do play games that are rated M. Yeah. Uh, um, and they, they can get into the gambling with their parents' credit cards. So there is a problem with young people gambling, yeah, but there are tools to make it very evident what they're getting into, uh, especially if you're an adult. Yeah, that's true, but I think there is a case to be made for the fact that, you know what, some parents actually don't know what their kids are getting up to on their devices. They don't mm -hmm. know the loot, they don't know about the loot crates, they don't know how much money they're putting on their credit cards, maybe, and, that, and that's been So should a it be less of a ban and, and more of just like a PSA to, to parents? Like, but it, hey, there, this is in your games. Yeah, but that's already kind of been out there, right? Like, parents should know about it, some parents don't, obviously, and maybe this has become a problem, maybe they've actually, maybe these are the parents that have contacted the government being like, yo, what are you going to do about about this because this, this isn't right and this, this is not okay and they don't actually know how to use these locks in the game so I think that if there's an age restriction put in place for these games with loot crates and you have to actually say what your age is before you jump in then the lock goes on it. We all know that, that websites that ask you your age are just, we're all truthful on that yeah. I am <laughs> always truthful when it comes to locking in my age. I highly doubt that. Even that. now, I highly <laughs> doubt that. You're right. I actually put a fake age 22. on my Twitter account, too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. There, I don't know. Yeah, I, I, I might I, say that I'm younger than yeah, I actually am. Yeah, we can't can. trust adults. We can't trust the children. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I mean, I don't know what the best, I don't know what the best answer for this should be. I like, I do like that the government is taking note and is maybe looking at these things that minors should not be getting into. They should not, they, this, is, this is a okay. dangerous game. It's Marissa. a dangerous game of games. Two minutes is play. up. Oh. And Tyler wants us to talk about something else. So Whatever. we're going to do that. Over in China, Tencent has suddenly pulled PUBG oh. from mobile devices and replaced it with a game called Game for Peace. Okay. It's pretty much exactly the same as PUBG, mm -hmm. though it's apparently about the Chinese oh. Air Force. Instead of dying, people will kill you and then uh, wave at you and politely drop <laughs> a loot crate. You okay. may be asking why Tencent made this move, and while the publisher isn't saying anything, here's a simple fact. PUBG was not monetized in China, while Game for Peace is. <laughs> so that may answer all of your questions right there, but yeah. it is it is a little a little odd that an abrupt that all of a sudden why not monetize PUBG? You know uh -huh. why does it have to be this one? I, I, I mean, yeah. go <laughs> and no, then no. I'll put my piece in. I'm just confused as to why it had not been monetized this entire time, especially in China, because I'm thinking this whole time that. It definitely was monetized in China because that's where they're making most of the money. That's where most mobile games are played mm -hmm. in the world. Huge market. Yeah, China. So uh, I'm. This is surprising that it's just happening now, but obviously it's all about the money, baby. So. But why not PUBG? Well, because maybe maybe they can't market it to kids. I'm assuming they can't market it to kids, right? That's true. We need right? to sell with, loot boxes to kids. With, with, the, <laughs> with the violence. So yeah, full circle now. Let's get money from kids. Because remember, that's where they're getting all their money from. It's the kids with the with the credit cards and their parents. They don't really know any better. They just think they're spending like 99 mm -hmm. cents here or there. But it adds up, of course, end of the month. When you get your bill, you see what they get up to. You see you, yeah. you test. But uh, no, it's obviously apparent now that they were not making the money. It's time to make the money. Let's market to children. And you said that it's also going to be like, a, it's not shooting. It's not shooting like yeah. Yeah, it'll be like paintball. Shooting. Yeah, paintball. Yeah. So and they then, definitely and then can when you kill someone, they, well, not kill someone, when you hit someone with your paintball, 
Yeah. They wave and say, here, here's a loot box. I'm going to leave the game for you. Okay. Um, no, I mean, I don't think it was simply that. I mean, like, we do we do know, uh, without dump, diving into the politics at all, but it, the companies are generally state-owned, yeah. right? So a chance for them to be able to promote the Air Force, obviously, is a little more attractive than being like, okay, here's a third, uh, you know, an outside company with PUBG, yeah. which is random, you know, battles around the world, why not let make this relevant for our people and make money off of it at the same time? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think the money play came in before the relevance for the people thing, but um, yeah. Well, I don't know. They could, have, they could have made it PUBG monetized. No, they can't because they can't market to kids. People just been over this. I'm not going to play it. Shh, quiet now. <laughs> over in the LCK, Hanwai Life Esports jungler Mujin has been fined nearly 13,000 US dollars and will undertake 48 hours of community service over the comments he made to female fans. What were those comments, you asked? He contacted underage female fans, attempted to meet with them, joked about beating them up or killing them, and admitted to having record of violence against women. The jungler apologized in a statement, but some are saying that his punishment is too lenient. First off, mm -hmm. uh, oh. what the hell is wrong with some people? Yeah, Number one. So to Brody, what do you what do you think? Do you think he got off too easy? We we can't we can't really swear here, so I just have to say, what the frig? Like okay. that's frigged up. Yeah, okay. Like what the frig, dude? Like, All right, like we get it. that's just that's so that's so dumb. Like why? You, like he claims he's joking. You have to read the room. There, I believe that there is nothing off the table when it comes to comedy. But there are some people that certain jokes won't worth with. Even if you're joking, you got to read the room. And no. that, is not, that is not coming okay. off as joking. <laughs> like, that is not right. Whoa. That's why I said, even if Whoa, you're joking. Brody. Which clearly off is not. Off the table, 100 off the table is violence against women, okay? There should not ever be jokes made about beating up women or having, like, there, there, that should not ever come into play ever because of all the violence against women that currently happens in this world every single day. Okay, I feel so like there should be no jokes about you this and me, ever, especially in this Between you culture. and me, we make jokes about that all the time, but Do that's it? okay because it's you and me. We have that camaraderie. We know we're joking, right? But we know that's a serious issue elsewhere. He doesn't know these people. That's just going to make it worse. You should not be making those jokes. I'm with you. This is wrong. This is bad. This guy shouldn't be playing anymore. He definitely should not be this playing anymore. This guy should not be in this. Like, the, a 100. fine is stupid. Community service is not enough. This guy should Absolutely be out not. of there. Uh, I, I don't know what laws it could fall under, but like that, that is, that is inciting violence. That could be prison time. That is not cool. No, I'm it's with not. You. That's cool, but yeah, it's not. You're what I'm right. Saying is even if he was not lying about joking, that still ain't right. No, of course not. But he clearly wasn't joking because he admitted to it. He did. Obviously, this is a problem that we're seeing in real sports as well, like sports sports. Um, the NFL has a massive issue with this, just mm -hmm. um, a lot of domestic violence cases that come about. And then the, some of these guys still get to play when the season comes around. Like, it usually happens in the offseason. Like, it's so friggin' messed up. I don't understand this world, and I don't understand why people continue to behave in this way. Like, I, I'm not a counselor. I don't know how these people can seek help. I'm not sure what exactly they need. But they but need to. They, they need, you, you need something. If you know someone or know a friend of a friend who behaves in this way, my God, like. Tell them to smart up. I don't even, I, I don't even know what to do. That's the thing. That, that is the actual issue here, is well, that we don't know how to help. We're not doctors or psychologists, so we probably won't come to a conclusion right now. So <sighs> let's lighten it up a little bit. In lighter news, Fortnite Season 9 launched today, and a group of leakers have already uncovered what looks to be the next crossover event. Data files describe a limited time game mode called Wick's Bounty, which is likely a reference to the John Wick movies. Mm -hmm. Considering that the third film in the franchise comes out next week, it's likely that we'll hear about this potential this crossover is. soon. Okay. Now, <laughs> you're like, I don't care about this. But, but John, yeah, see, what? seriously. Why are we talking about this like right after violence against right? women? I didn't topic. write it. This is, I didn't this write is a it. terrible sequence of events. I blame Tyler. Uh, what? I don't, I don't I didn't care. write this. I, I could give a flying F about but we, this. But we do need to lighten the rest of the day. Oh my so, God. what other crossovers do you think would be really good uh, for, for putting into Fortnite? I love John Wick. They've already had John Wick. But what other crossovers would you like to see? Oh my God. I'm gonna, murder, I'm gonna murder you, 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 friggin' Tyler. Oh my God. Uh, what do I want? What do? <laughs> but yeah, oh my. Now Tyler's telling me, oh, but violence against men is okay. Tyler, that is inappropriate. Let's go. 
been I, going everywhere. <laughs> Talk no, about uh, Fortnite. Yeah, Fortnite. Talk about Fortnite. Oh, look who's sipping the epic Kool-Aid now. Brody, he wants to talk about Fortnite. Hmm, I wonder what happened. Uh, let's see, interesting crossovers. I don't know, a new Octane car inside the Fortnite game. I'm sure Brody wants to see that. I don't know what I want anymore. Cool. <laughs> tell, what do you want in Fortnite, Brody? Sure, cars in, in driving around Octanes <laughs> in Fortnite. Do, do we need another 30 seconds on this, or <laughs> this so can stupid. we make the buzzer stop? Yeah, yeah Pac-Man. Uh, time's I, up. Okay. It's time to move on to, to clip it with streamers. Our first clip comes from Sam Litter, who decided to stretch his vocal cords for this awesome impression. Uh, look at that. Can you believe that? Yeah. Look at that. Uh, <laughs> look at these guys, these scrawny little battle droids with their... They're skinny little arms and they, they don't have any, any good cardio to uh, back it up. And they're happy, you know, hanging out with their little girlfriends. It's right. These scrawny little battle droids. <laughs> my, so That's funny. One of my, one of my, best, my best buds, um, he, he'll yeah. go on stream. Wow, what is this? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, I love you. he'll go on, and it's, it's really fun to hear that on the other side, but he'll do the Arnolds, he'll do uh, Yoda, he'll do like Scooby-Doo, oh, and just while he's streaming, jump into comms. And it's one of the funnest things to lighten a movie, because you know sometimes you get in a competitive match and people are just a little too, like, a little too hardcore, a little too try-hard. Oh and my goodness. And that the, lightens the yeah. mood instantly. Oh yeah, going on anything CSGO online, my God, is it ever toxic. If someone comes in there with an accent, the best thing ever. So What's, now I have to ask you, well, what? No, 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 no. What? What's your Arnold? Can you do it? It's not a tumor. <laughs> it's not a tumor. It's not a tumor. Get to the chopper. Get down, get to the chopper. Get down. That's pretty good. <laughs> sure. What, what's yours? Yeah, I just did it. If you didn't hear no, it, no, I guess it's it too bad. Give me, another, give me another line. <laughs> Go! Get to the chopper. <laughs> yours is weak. That's not good. <laughs> oh, yeah. I didn't say it was good. Okay, whatever. That's why I tried to get you to do it. <laughs> Our next clip is from Miss Gib, who got a little shy when Maya decided to call him out. <laughs> I don't know that there's a, like, I can't think of anything consistent. I don't know, like, I don't know. Tell, okay, tell the chat, I asked, I asked her, what's the one, what's the meanest thing you've ever done? Stop, stop, Matthew. <laughs> don't call me Matthew. <laughs> don't call me Matthew in front of my friends, all right? <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> sorry. sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Aww. You can't, <laughs> you don't want your real name I online. I, okay. That's dangerous. Now everyone's gonna stalk him. I, I don't think that's the case. <laughs> don't Matthew. Call me Matthew. It's like when your mom, friends. when your mom calls you, but your middle name has been included in that. Oh yeah. boy. What? What's you your know you're name? in trouble. What's your middle name? I'm not gonna tell you that. Oh my god, I need to know right Why now. Why would I tell you that? Chat. What's your middle make name? Him, make him say his middle name. What is it? What's your middle name? Antonella. Okay, fine. I'll tell you. What is it? William. So people, people used to call me Bill in school. And <laughs> like, no offense to people with the name Bill, but like, as a, as a five-year-old, I did not want to be called Bill, okay? So, so, so when they found out for a while, it, it, kids have ADHD a lot, so it's like, they forgot quickly, but like, I was Bill for a little bit. Aw, Bill. I love this. I I'm going to call you Bill for now. No! Let's, let's spam Bill in chat right now. Truly is the best time of day. We scroll the Twitters to bring you all the things the pros bless us with on their timeline. Sometimes sweets are sugar and spice and everything nice, and sometimes they're paid for. <laughs> like this one from Monte Cristo. It's about time someone created a proper women's wear line for gamers, and Ateo has done it. I love the launch video they made with so many of the women who work in esports and streaming. Get it here. Got a story to tell It's been hard on us all Communities don't support us But quizzing us cause they're trolls We all started from nothing And together we're special Wish I could say thank you to Twitch chat Cause they are my angel. Games taught me love Games taught me patience And one taught me pain Now I'm so amazing I've won and I've lost the lesson, the game's what I love, and stream is my passion, therefore that I say, thank you, game, thank you, game, thank you, game. Okay, Brody, the question here is, how do you feel about the term gamer clothing? I don't know. 
if like, I feel. Right, like, like that? I, I'm just kidding. Okay, there's a few. It's you know what? I don't want to salt on the actual um, creation of that video because I bet you so many people that were making it had so much fun. And I do know a few of the girls in the video. Like they're lovely humans. Okay. All like all of that. I support you 100. The video is like it's a it's a little cringe. Okay. So yeah. I I wouldn't I would say it's not like the cringiest thing I've no. seen, but it's definitely like. It, near the, I don't know. It's like out of ten, it's it's like a six to seven. Like it's yeah. it's starting to creep up there. It's there. I don't mind gamer clothing being like you know again directed at gamers, like clothing being designed for, for gamers. The, yeah. But I like gamers like really don't dress that different than regular people because we're people. <laughs> so like, I, yeah, I don't I, quite get it. Yeah. Like the jersey, sure, but the rest of it's like. I can just, you know, buy clothes from somewhere else. Well, even like yeah, any like sporting goods store, like if you want to be comfortable while you game, it just doesn't really make that much sense to me. I'm also just wondering how this got bankrolled. Like I'm wondering, you always got to think of like the money, right? So uh, I'm wondering if Monte Cristo is an investor in this company or he owns some of it, because uh, obviously this was an ad tweet. Um, and how many other people are bankrolling did, did this? Did he hashtag add it or um, was that sarcasm? They, no, he hashtag add it. And that okay. was that was real. I'm pretty sure it was real. So, uh, and also every, like all the comments under that tweet were like, are you serious? Yo, that's a yikes. That's yeah, because the last time we saw clothes directed at females, that didn't go well either. No, this one's a little bit better. I'll t yeah, this better, but still weird to yeah. tell them you got to wear this. Yeah, I mean, let us know in chat what you think. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we move yeah. on to our next thought because yeah. we don't know what we're thinking. Our next profound thought comes from Smash Bros. Melee Pro Zane. Mm. My dad. Look, Zane, Mark. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> it's just the simple. There's no rest of the costume. All he has is a sword. Now you're Marth. You might not understand fully what the game is, but uh, at least he's trying. Do, like, has your dad ever just like done some kind of Rocket League reference? Be like, oh. look, look, Brody. The greatest, is, the greatest is, is just when he's talking about it, like about me to other people. Uh. He always like says like I'm like this world famous guy and I'm like not quite true but I really do appreciate how much you care about this uh, and it's not the RLCS it's the RCLS Aww, Papa to be fair I to be fair. to be fair I did get tongue tied when the RLCS was first announced saying RLCS too so I don't blame him that much daddy's little boy but our I, last yeah. profound thought is another one from the smash community but this time ultimate snake vein MVD says I had a dream both my arms were broken and one cast was blue and the other one was red and people called me Joy-Cons. I've never been so shook waking up but <laughs> also happy and smiling in relief. Why would you... Brody. Why would you tweet Brody. that? Brody. So, I need to know that what does Professor Science have to say about that dream? Uh, he wanted likes on his tweets. So okay. he made a good tweet. And, uh, why would you tweet that? Now people are going to call you Joy-Cons. You just gave yourself a Bill nickname. <laughs> that you just ruined yourself. Now you're Bill. <laughs> no, but seriously, how would how could like how can we decipher that dream? Is it still your your theory? He oh, plays, you can't move. He plays way too much Smash Brothers, uh -huh. so that's all that infiltrates his subconscious. Uh -huh. And it tries to recreate the things it knows, which is Smash Brothers. And also your body is what what did you say? Oh paralyzed from that. The, well that doesn't have anything to do with that. Also, he may well, have he Joy Con arms. He said arms he couldn't one day. move them. He said he couldn't move them, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's because they're Joy-Cons, and Joy-Cons don't have nerve endings. Let's move on, because it's time to get to some crowd control. This is where I find things that m makes Marissa hate me more, like every <laughs> single day. Like, this thing started off by gaining some perspective. We know the backgrounds of Smash Bros. levels get prettier every new game. But did you realize how big the maps actually are? Mm. Kalon hits us with that view. I think you'll actually like this one. Though. Okay, let me see. You're lucky. So that's them smashing down in the corner there. Do you see them? Okay, Just yeah. tiny on there. Oh, that's okay. huge! Oh they're massive! God. Jesus Christ! Like, that's why there's so much input delay on this game. No, come on. This can't be. That's not real. Huh? Is this real? Yeah. No. These are the maps. These are how big why, these maps are. It doesn't make any sense. Why would they do this? What do you mean? Why would they make the maps so big? To make them look good. Yeah, but... Yeah, but Marissa, Brody, do you, you understand how game design works? Yeah, but you just... You gotta make people attracted to your yeah, game. Yeah, but you're just playing on a stage, though. You can just make a stage. Well, then what's behind it? It doesn't matter, because you're just focusing on the stage and playing on the stage. That's why you don't realize how big it is. Now that makes me want a, a, a Smash Brothers Battle Royale, though. Oh, yeah, 100. That Maybe that's what they're setting legit. it up for. Huh? Maybe that's what they're setting it up for. Do you think? Well, I don't know. I doubt it. it. I mean, nice everything is Battle Royale nowadays. 
yeah, I mean, it would be nice to see that though for the seed. Why not? Like, have a little something. Maybe somebody can mod it because of the maps like this. Someone get on it. Please. Yeah, can you guys please? I want to play that. would be amazing. Um, I know everybody likes graphs, so let's get yeah, another dude. one on the screen. This time we're comparing annual units sold for all video game consoles. Okay. So the Atari let's see. runs its course for a while. I'm waiting until a PlayStation comes up, because that's going to just dominate. Yeah, oh, I love these so much. Actually, it's insane how long the Atari was going for. Ooh. All the way up to, like, the 90s? When did it fall off? Nintendo, just dominating. Yeah. Did you see any? Can you, you can't see any. No, I can't actually <laughs> see. Okay, so what, there's the, yeah, here's the PlayStation coming to the market. The Xbox actually doesn't last that long, but it made you me realize how much of the market Nintendo dominated. Like, including well, yeah, our handhelds. It's actually insane. Okay, and then the PS2 obviously crashed yeah. for so long. And then do you remember when it had like the lighter version? Look. And so many people purchased. All the way up until 2010, 2000, the PlayStation 2 is still being sold. And there it is, yeah, it's look. kill off in 2013. That is insane. And of course, at the top of the market is still Sony with yeah. the PlayStation 4. Yeah. But yeah. Nintendo, one thing a lot of people didn't realize is, is like, they're like, oh, Nintendo's dying, the Wii U sales sucked. No. They had the entire handheld market. Like, yeah. they owned, like, ever, like Sony tried. Sony tried I to get know. into that. It just you know, did Vita, not work. Yeah, the Vita was still something special. I really liked my Vita, and it still held charge, like, I know, years the Vita was later. sick, but there's no games for it. That's I the know. Problem. There are a few good ones, though. It's just like, and then people usually get surprised when they see Microsoft so far at the bottom, but Microsoft, you have to remember that they only really sell consoles on this side of the world. Like, they only really sell. Their, their, their bulk sales happen in North mm. America. So um, yeah. Sony is 100 worldwide and does a lot of their selling in Asia. So um, no, it just makes sense. Like that, that graph, I mean, it doesn't really surprise me, mm -hmm. all those numbers. It's kind of like right on the money. Mm -hmm. Right? All right? Exactly what we assume. Well, I want to get to a post now that will make you hate me. I'm kidding. Oh, I'm being nice to you today. Uh, Our last post is just something relatable. Uh, there are so many things we all do in games, but maybe don't think about, like, looting empty barrels in Skyrim. <laughs> me, looting in Skyrim. Skyrim. This container's empty, bro. Me. I doubt that. I'm going <laughs> to check anyways. That. And then when there's nothing there, surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> what? There was actually nothing in there? So yes. many, so there's so many, like, gamer OCDs that I do. Like, one is, like, you hold all your most powerful weapons and like potions and stuff to the end. You're like, I won't need this for a big battle later yeah. on. I'm gonna need this. And then you still don't use it. Yeah. Or like you go down one path in a cave. You're like, hmm, this could be the actual path. I'm gonna go see if there's ammo this way. No, it turns out that's actually the right path. So you gotta go all the way back, <laughs> get your uh, ammo looted up and then go the right way. Uh, that's very so specific with the things you do. I feel like I just need to check every like litter bin in Pokemon, <laughs> in Stardew Valley. Sometimes in, like, there's TMs hidden. And sometimes there's TMs hidden, exactly. You want to go check, but in Stardew Valley, it's mostly just garbage. And then somebody who's walking by is like judging you for just, <laughs> picking, just garbage. Like picking garbage. Yeah, you get fully judged by the townspeople. But there might be something good in there. You never know. It's usually garbage. Marissa's a garbage picker. <sighs> Love you. <laughs> That's all day for me to remember. <laughs> you can always hit us up on our socials. Just say hi and send us stuff that we might react to. Someone type in exclamation point socials right now. So you can see all of our channels. We'll see you next time. <laughs>